Man, man, I wish I was recording from the start. This is a pretty amazing remix. It's Sonic 1 Christmas. Yeah, Green Hill winter remix. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> hey, there runs now Cow Cyber Digital and Vans December 25th. No, it's not yet. Quite. It's 15. <laughs> 10 more days of Christmas still in front of us. Uh, we're nearing the end. We're past the mid. Point today we got a thing and then a thing and another thing. All right, so no, we want to go in this direction because it's a 15 Snow White Knight. It's a c c c combo. So we got level by Genesis James. Then we got a box by Ivy, and we also got unofficial third-party DLC. So look into that. Let's start with Genesis James. That is definitely a name I recognize. Hey, <laughs> those faces. Oh, it's looking pretty cold here. We got- oh, my mushroom. It's a beet. Sweet! Uh, sweet beet. Sweet potato. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's a pretty hard jump. <laughs> Alright. We might have ourselves like a level, 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 level. I don't know. Uh, there we go. Background's really pretty, but I do not recognize the source. Alright, there, I did it. I did the jump. Like, this is like some actual Mario here. And we got, like, hopping thing, and we got, I mean, this used to be the end of a level, but it looks like the end was cancelled, like, whoa. What made that sound? I don't know, skeleton, there's the knife fish. I'm really bad, suddenly, I can't place my becks. These physics in this game, they are what they are. I got a yellow, oh, you just, oh, they're that kind of enemy. See, I thought I had to spin follow everywhere, but I totally didn't. So it was way easier than I was establishing to myself. Alright, well, that's fine. My money also makes Atari noises. <laughs> as you do. Man, the glow they got, though, is really cool. Like, the glow on those power- Like, Smibex is turning into something else. I am looking forward to playing my first full-on Smebex 2 game whenever that ends up happening because boy howdy we're in a weird little icy snowy cabana and there's still ice everywhere but like it's snowing everywhere and I landed on that thing uh, okay so I want kind of a yeah there we go and that hopping hopping flame guy Frozen flames of Arcat Hope. Why did I jump? I should have just dropped. I had a power up, it didn't fall. I forgot that it don't fall automatically. Ah! Dude! <laughs> With just words. <laughs> because of the pollen. This is kind of a touchy play. No! Awkward amount of time. Ugh. So far, I th oh yeah, I made it up the way there. Uh, yeah, I got hurt. Like that's a legit, pretty hard spot. <laughs> hey, this is a pretty legit level. Hey, midpoint. That's a weird sound you made. Beat. <laughs> All audio crunch. Well, yeah, like this is. This is a pretty legit, kinda, like, not easy level. The insistence on ice everywhere, due to the nature of this being holiday-themed, 
does not help matter. It's kind of the irony that anytime you're gonna play something Christmassy, you have to deal with ice, which is far from being a gift. Like, what is this part? Like, I'm trying to approach, but I'm in hampered by ice physics here. Like, remember, in Smebex, it doesn't just make it harder to, like, stop. It also makes it harder to start. I keep forgetting! Eh, there we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna miss around a little bit. That's fine. Just gonna hop on this flower a little bit. Here we go. And we just got more. I think they're fighter flies. And just gonna bounce on this. Why did I not bounce on that skeleton? I don't know. I really don't. I mean it when I say that I don't understand. It's fine. Just follow the fish and die. Oh boy. Alright, so, now we're in this part of the temple where there's a guy above, and that guy is down below. Now we've got ourselves a little underground shack of sort. Follow the money, if you please. Have the Hershey Company read you a bedtime story. Sweet, I say. Almost messing up my jump, but that's okay. Yeah, just kind of fall off like that. Keep having false ends. Eh. Oh, yeah, those are so. so I, I should have just gone. Like, there's a delay until they spew for the first time. And I should be using that to my advantage. I have made no effort to get any Dagadons yet because this level is way hard enough as it is right now. I don't need to add the complications. Like, I'm- you've seen me just die here all day. Oh, this is ice physics again, and because of that I died. Never any power up better than a beat. Never. Stop. God damn it. Just fall down the thing. Ah. I disagree, but what can I do? This doesn't matter that much. Dude! Get back here. Go. Eh. Yeah, just go. Just go. Yeah, you don't turn around. That guy's just kind of chewing his lip. But see, how do you... Ah, okay. Felt great. You could probably tell by my groan. Hey, it's Luigi. Hi. Here lies Luigi's hope and dreams. I like to pour my heart and thanks, my dear Burr. Hmm, what does the graffiti says? Uh, oh, well, thank you! <laughs> wow, imagine being part of someone's life for 10 years. Like, isn't that kind of weird to think about? Like, that's awe-inspiring, almost. Uh, you're... <laughs> Man, well, I mean, this was an excellent level. It's just, you know, it's a serious level. Wow! With serious expectations. Uh, but uh, I mean, it was pretty fun. It's just, again, I'm just not used to modern, the modern ice 
Whoa, it's the Rao adventure. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, if this was real, it'd go twice as slow and it would be in complete science. Uh, this is not Santa Claus, I'm assuming. Yeah, this is not Santa Claus. No, it's not. Oh, that said in that is said in English though. Oh, a couple of R because it's a character. I have uh, something. This is amazing. If you haven't watched my Chow Adventure and Chow Adventure 2 videos as part of all of Sonic, you're missing out uh, uh, on some referentials here. I do not understand. He speaks in French. Well, there's a box. Oh. Uh, they offered a gift! Uh, exclamation mark and big ol' surprise chow face. This is amazing! This is just like flat out super amazing. Yeah! <laughs> what does that say? Uh, chow the Rao, Rao the Chow, Rao the Chow, uh, received a box, a box of repellent box of fox repellent <laughs> again this is great if you understand what's going on the packet uh the 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 package also contains <laughs> no it's not that i'm letting it go uh let's see yeah uh, the package also contains supplementary content. Uh, yeah, here we go. Also, an image letter. Yeah, and also DLC, like third person. I've said about that. It's fine, uh, but I want to keep going on with the text down there. To be precise, uh, there is one image and. One letter. Oh, I see that you could you, that you can or you could that you can look you can look at after after the end. After the end of the scene. It's kind of fun when word order pans out between English and French. Sign de coup. I don't think I've ever heard cutscene translated like that, but it could be a French thing. I thus ask. Uh, I thus ask the person whom. Who is waiting? Who is patiently waiting? The end of this scene to oh no, this cutscene. Do you someone do you patiently waiting for the end of this cutscene? The fire on sweat. Oh, wait, what? I don't. I'm not following the sentence. Uh, it's the end! We did it! Look at those beautiful faces. I think I'm gonna start with a third party unexpected received yesterday thing. So just give me a moment to set up. I'm set up, I think. Uh, actually, I'm just gonna click on these things here just ahead of time. Okay, they look to be Google links, and but the URL is not a thing. Yeah, every year, Philby just kind of like goes through unofficial means to get involved in the festivities. Uh, happy holidays, Ow cow! Smiles! Uh, now with 100% less Star Trek fire to Frontal Frontier, you say that, but we've been seeing a little bit of that every day in the loading screen. I feel bad about boosting myself in outside the main project again, but I guess it's a tradition at this point, isn't it? It's been a pretty nutso year, both worldwide and personally. No kidding. I lost my car, got a new car, lost my home, 
moved in with my sister, and in between found myself questioning my gender on top of that. It's Philby with an I now! Oh, I, I should change your name probably then on Talk House. At least for the time being while I sort things out. Or maybe I should wait until things are sorted out. Hopefully the coming year will be more stable. I hope your year was good, all things considered, and wishing you peace and happiness going forward. Well, I have to admit, considering everything that went by during 2020, I've been pretty lucky that my life has essentially hasn't changed. Like, I'm a fully 100% aware that I'm the lucky one on this, and it's mostly because I kind of live like a hermit regardless. Uh, it's been rough out there, like, I've, I've seen it firsthand, and, you know, everyone out there watching, like, I hope you've been doing okay. I have two presents for you. First, I remembered someone got you Flex Mentalo by Grant Morrison a few years back, so here's a series... That it was a spin-off of the Doom Patrol. Morrison's run starts with issue 19, and I recommend starting there. Though the early issues, which I include for sake of completeness, are not bad at all either. I've also included all crossovers issues as well. Now, Doom Patrol I'm aware of. I have actually read... Oh yeah, look at that. Just right here in this Google Drive. I've actually read some Doom Patrol. Not all of it. Like, I haven't read everything. But I've read some, and it is indeed a fascinating comic series. Like, you don't need a whole lot to sell me on the idea. So, now I got a whole archive, so I know how I'm going to be occupying sometimes. Wow, like, just nailing your audience here. Thank you. And also, secondly, here's a little drawing I made of some of your characters. Hope you like it. A-S-S-T, sword and sorcery thing. Alright, and this is the- Oh, hey! Oh, you can just barely see! Can I- I can't reset zoom or zoom out. This is it! Zoom in! Yeah, it's different characters! Oh man, this is pretty good, actually. <laughs> I love that interpretation of Red Scout. It's kind of amazing, especially in the face. Oh man, this is pretty good! Do you know how to ink? Like, 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 I feel like if you could ink it, like, it would elevate it quite a bit. Because there, it just looks so faded. Like, you want, you want it to pop. But, uh, no. Like, it's there. The presence is there. Like, the motion. It's pretty good. Ah, oh, man. What a sweet little unexpected bonus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Looking forward to you popping in unexpected next year also, assuming... Maybe something happens. I don't know. Switching to next slide. All right, so here, 15, day 15, we got Ivy. And oh, well, might as well look at that because we got a thumbnail here of Caraback3.png. PNG stands for Pi New Guinea. No one knows that. All right. It's Kara! Wow! So you must have done this, like, really recently. Whoa! Wow, yeah, I did not expect a reference from so frequently. Not, that's not a right word. From so not long ago. That is, yeah, that is the violence fairy from, uh... LM2, La Milana 2, using her trademark Heart Blast laser charging up there. Well, there's only one sword. I guess maybe they're both... You know what? It's fine. Medjeb knows to know the fear. <laughs> oh, this is really good. Like, this... This is... Uh, I mean, it's... The background is digital. I don't know about the foreground. But, like, there is some details in the lighting and whatnot, like, in the clothes and the fold and everything. There is a lot of work in this. Like, thank you, like, to put so much effort like this. Man, anyway, so there's a letter. It's called letter.txt. I'm going to read it out loud, but you can read it for yourself, too, if you want. How cow! Nothing says happy holiday like some fine art of your girlfriend. Enjoying La Milana Vicarious. This makes sense if you've watched La Milana too. Like, didn't end all that uh, recently? You should watch it, maybe. I don't know, it's kind of a long project. Uh, enjoying La Milana vicariously through you has been an incredible experience. And after hearing about the struggles at Nagoro after the production of the sequel, 
I went and bought them both on Steam, even if I never play them. It's the thought that counts. Really, as one of the elusive 800 viewers of flying, hey, I don't care. Look, I don't care if some series don't get that many eyeballs because I do know that at least a handful of people have typically very much enjoy those kind of series. Anyways, yeah, as one of the elusive uh, uh, fly-ins, just about anything you play is worth looking forward to, but I've always wanted to make a little something about this GF situation that happened in the LM2 playthrough. I haven't used Mebex 2.0 since the Maggle X3 entry over a year ago, approaching second year anniversary in March, yeah. And I came to the event party late, so I hope this brightens your day even a little. Are you in a Ghost of Christmas Ghost doing well? This virtual holiday experience is actually quite convenient. There's definitely something special about sending physical gifts, but better to keep it safe this year. I'm starting to wonder if you're part of the patch I got, like the Gifts Part 2 patch. I didn't actually... I don't know is a thing, but I got the feeling that that's what happened. Thanks for reading this joint of jumble of thoughts. Thanks for play. Here's to another nice year. Ivy. Well, here's to a pretty alright December to all y'all. Uh, thank you. Once again, I just never get over the absolute kindness y'all are able to send my way. That is some pretty sweet art, honestly. It's a nice little punctuation mark at the end of this. Wow, I've already recorded for 25 minutes. What? Oh no, <laughs> I gotta stop. <laughs>